Hi quilters, I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuQuilt's Chief Brand and Product Officer. Welcome to today's show called Start September with Stars. Today we are launching September's Die to Try series die, the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish die. We are so excited to share this amazing die with all of you. We are. So let me introduce you to your hosts for today, Pam and Erica. Hello. Hello. We Hello. haven't had you on the set for a while. It's I good know. to get you back. I said my palms are sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Well, in case you can't tell from the name, this new die to try is perfect for creating intricate quilt blocks that any quilter can make. We also gave you a sneak peek of this die last Thursday and have even more inspiration for you coming up today. That's right. That's absolutely right. We're always looking to bring you innovative products to help you create fun quilt blocks. Using AccuQuilt dies makes creating time-consuming blocks and shapes fast and easy. So you can get back to what you love, which is sewing. Okay, now Lynn, speaking of sewing, you, could you share a little bit more about, this is National Sewing Month, what's that all about? All right, I sure can. National Sewing Month recognizes how sewing is a creative form of self-expression. Even through September, even though September marks National Sewing Month, sewing is enjoyed year round by so many people. Among other things, sewing lets you discover different types of sewing, right. find uh. new inspiration, right? Collaborate with others and share your works with sewists and non-sewists alike. I love that. And I'm sure that you can check out the National Sewing Month's website to help find some more about that, right? That's right. You can check out the National Sewing Month's website to find exclusive tutorials, patterns, giveaways, and much more. Who knew? All yeah. right, so since you said that is sewing is enjoyed all year round, especially in September, I wonder how many of our viewers participate during National Sewing Month? Well, that's a good question, Pam. Quilters, are you doing anything special for National Sewing Month? Or is your quilting guild maybe doing something special? Be sure to let us know in the comments wherever you stream our show. All right, I can't wait to hear about the fun things our quilters are doing for National Sewing Month. And speaking of fun, that's exactly what we have planned for today, including a challenge with two of our experts, Barbara Harper and Vicki Parrish, who have plenty of brilliant project ideas whirling around in their quilting mm -hmm. heads using the new die to try. Be sure and stick around to see what they come up with. That's right. We've also got great prizes, those exciting project ideas, a glowing trunk show, and we're announcing August prize winner from Quilt the World. So be sure to stick around and see if you won. All right, ladies, I'm going to go get ready for Barbara and Vicki. Excellent. I can't wait to see what, what you come up with, what they come up with using our new die. So have a great show. Thank Thanks, you. Lynn. Oh, it's good to have Miss Gibney it back. It is, it right. is. We can't wait any longer. Here is a look at our new die to try, the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finished die. Become a quilting superstar with the Go Whirling Star die. This 12 inch finished block on board or fob die can quickly, easily, and accurately cut a single four color block in one pass using any Go fabric cutter. With easy to read screen printed letters, a built in quarter inch seam allowance, specialized dog eared corners, and no Y seams to sew, you'll have no trouble creating a mesmerizing block. This ornate die is perfect for quilters of any skill level who want to combine it with compatible dies and cubes that also finish to 12 inches to make exquisite wall hangings, alluring throw quilts, and more. Get ready to give this wonderful Bob die a whirl because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, if you missed our sneak peek show, which was last Thursday, we have some fantastic bundles and offers for you so you can get your hands on this great new die to try and begin your next projects. That's right. Now to get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way you're not going to miss any of the show. The first bundle we have is the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish die with matte bundle. You receive the Go Whirling Star, which finishes to a 12 inch block and a six by 24 cutting mat. 
We also have the Go Block On Board Favorites 12 inch die bundle. This is gonna come with the Go Whirling Star 12 yes. inch finish die, but also some other great 12 inch blocks. The Morning Star, the Go Arkansas Traveler, and the Go Setting Triangles that finish at 12 inches as well. Plus the six by 24 and 10 by 24 cutting mats. And we have a deal just for National Sewing Month. You can receive 20% off machine embroidery downloads, excluding embroidery CDs. No code needed to redeem this offer. And we had tons of inspiration just we did. a week ago or we so did. on some really great embroidery Check files. Check out those embroidery files, they're so great. Now another deal that doesn't need a code is for the Gomi Fabric Cutter Starter Set at a great reduced price. This is our most portable and lightweight cutter and the new die will fit inside. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out our store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Now, if you don't have a retailer close by, be sure to tell your local quilt shop that you would love to shop for AccuQuilt products there. And speaking of retailers, we want to give a huge shout out to the following stores that carry our new Die to Try series available for in-store purchase. That's right. Now, some of the stores that have purchased that are Nashua Soul and Back in New Hampshire, Quilting in the Valley with four locations in Illinois, and Oso oh Personal Fabric Shop in Missouri. We're excited for our Quilters Canal shop in person for our Die to Try series. Thanks to our retailers for making this possible. And don't forget, we sold out of last month's Die to Try in just eight short days. So be sure to get your hands on a new one while supplies last. All right, now let's get this party started with a look at the amazing block oh. that this new die will make. This block is so fun and not just because the sample's in purple, although it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Um, it has trapezoids and half square triangles. Yes. And when you look at it, Erica, you might think you have to have Y seams. Ah, but you do not. None Y seams. Designed all without Y seams. Really, yeah. it looks so complex and it's really very simple. They're Super. straight seams. Anybody who can sew a quarter inch seam allowance can make this block. Yes. And look like a quilting rock star. Here is the die that makes the block. Now, even though we're making a 12 inch finished block, this die board is only six inches wide and it will fit in any of our Go cutters, even that Go Me. And it can cut all the pieces for one block in just a single pass through the cutter. So Erica, now we need to talk about this, these shapes for just yes. a second. Um, we need to talk about shape A and shape B are the same shapes, they're the same trapezoid shapes, but the lengthwise grain is different. That's right, and that really, it's all about lengthwise grain. You right. know, we talk about it a lot. The lengthwise grain is gonna be the tightest weave on your fabric. That's the tight or taunt part. And these shape Bs are gonna have your lengthwise grain. You always wanna put your lengthwise grain parallel to those lengthwise yep. blades as it goes through the cutter. So it's gonna be parallel to these edges on B. Yep. That's because the B shapes are gonna be on the outside, outside of, the block. of the block and that's gonna stabilize your block. Because otherwise, if you have your bias, the bias of your fabric is stretchy. And if you put that on the outside of your block, you're gonna be wonky. And it's nobody be wonky. wants to be wonky. We're working way too hard. We love our fabric way too much. And so we've screen printed the letters. So we've taken and cut off the dog ears. Mm -hmm. So right here to the quarter inch seam. Here's shape C, these tiny little half square triangles. Again, you don't have to snip out those dog ears. So you're saving time in the cutting. And then once you've sewn, you don't have to worry about um, cutting those dog ears off. That's it right. It will make a four color block. Oh, but please make it scrappy. <laughs> gonna make there's, one today. You know, there's just so many options with this. There so is. what you want to do is be sure to visit the product page for this new die on our website and download the free block assembly directions. That's where you're also gonna get that coloring sheet. You can also find a video with Eric and I cutting and sewing a block together and sharing our tips for working with this great That's die. That's right. It's a great die and I predict it's gonna sell out before long. So you don't wanna wait very long before you place your order for one. That's right. Now that we've shown off this new die to try, why don't we give away one to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show? Okay, that sounds good. 
The lucky winner of a Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish die is, drum roll please, Linda B. from Orlando, Florida. Congratulations. Congratulations, Linda. You are gonna love working with this die. All right, quilters for today's Dad to Try a Lunch Party event, we've challenged two of our experts to combine Go Cubes or other bobs with yes. the Go Whirling Star die. Yes. And they're both brilliant. That's right. Okay, so first we have Barbara Harper. Barbara began sewing as a child with her grandmother and enjoys creating quilts for the special people in her life. She's a quilter, a seamstress, and a teacher who has made hundreds of quilts and has owned her AccuQuilt Go for 10 years. Barbara credits her award-winning quilt success with the cuts her system provides. Cut the block. Next, we have Vicki Parrish. Vicki became a passionate quilter at eight years old when her grandfather taught her how to make quarter-inch seams. Uh, she has taught quilting to high school students for several years and always uses the AccuQuilt Go fabric cutting system when helping beginning quilters gain confidence and create success. All right, let's check out the ideas that our first expert has come up with. Barbara, what do you have for us so far? Well, ladies, this die has so many ideas whirling around in my head. My challenge is to pair the new Whirling Star 12-inch block on board with cubes. Well, this makes a 12-inch block, so we know we can use our 12-inch cube, our 8-inch cube, 6-inch cube, and 4-inch cube to make 12-inch blocks or some fabulous borders. But let me show you. Are you ready for a whirlwind? I've got some ideas you may not know. First thing is B and C equals the same size as shape 4 quarter square triangle in the 12-inch cube. And that's the same for A and C. Just turn your fabric and you've got a half square triangle the same size as shape four in the 12 inch cube. That allows you to make all kinds of amazing flying geese with your 12 and your six inch cube. There's some fives, here's from the six, or what about this? Just drop that B, A, B unit in there, A, C unit in there, and you're gonna, you have another flying geese. But did you know that shape C is the same size as a quarter square triangle in the five inch cube? You sew two of those together and you've got shape three or shape five in the five or 10 inch cube. Wow, is your mind whirling? Let me show you some more. You sew two of these together, you get what's called an elongated or what I call an elongated hexagon, which allows me to make a lot of traditional paper piecing blocks. Let me show you some of those. Right here, I've got my A units and my B units. And right in here, I did an inset. These are all straight stitch sewn. On the corners, I used shape um, four from my 12 inch cube to make these little corners. Or what about this? This is another traditional uh, paper piece block, the Lucy block. Right here, I've got some shape Vs, some shape As, and up in the corner, I substituted and used shape three from my five inch cube. Or what about this one? Let me move over and I'll show you what I've done with this. This is the whirling star block. The only difference is I played with color and the inspiration came from this quilt. A friend of mine, Ginger, rescues these. This is hand sewn and it's a hexagon quilt. So I made a modern version using the whirling star, but let me show you how I incorporated the cube in there. It's from the 12 inch cube. I use shape four for these outside borders and edges. And if you look along here, any place that I had a BC or an AC that was both colors, I simply substituted. I'm gonna go work on my challenge piece and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I want to make that. Yes. I want to make that because it's totally scrappy and then she used shapes from the 12 inch cube. Yes, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. We are. I am always amazed. At, I mean, the way Barbara's mind works and how she comes up with all these ideas with the die. Um, it's great to take a look at the various shapes on a block and board or a bob die when you first get it and really take stock of what you've got. And you've got a great tip for that, Pam. I do. Um, you own the die, you can write on it. Um, I take a Sharpie and I write the size of the shapes on the back of the die board for easy reference. Okay. And I do the finished 
size. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so in this one, we would put that these um, half square triangles to finish to one and three quarter inch mm -hmm. square, right? That's right. And, and it helps me find a shape that I need for a new pattern in just a glance. And because I'm a little crazy about it, yeah. um, I also have a little spreadsheet. Well, aren't you the organized Well, one? no, here's why. Okay, so Whirling Start has trapezoids and hexagons, right. or trapezoids and half-square triangles. Right. And so then I can just look on the half-square triangle list if I'm looking for a one and three-quarter. Okay. And go, oh, the Whirling Star. Whirling has Star it. has it. But let's cut a block, because maybe you want to see what it looks ah, like. Ah, yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow the pattern. Yes. And it's going to tell you how to subcut your fabric. Now... Here's, here's, this is, this is crucial. This is crucial. <laughs> okay. Yes. And why is this crucial, Erica? Lengthwise grain. Yeah. So again, we want to make sure that we're laying our fabric out so that we're going to have our outside pieces facing, those are going to be right. piece B because that's going to have that right. tight grain. Okay. And notice that shape A and B are both this medium purple. Yes. The light purple and the dark purple, light purple is only B and the dark purple is only mm -hmm. A. So really help keep track of your pieces. Use this really high tech system. Yes, they're sticky called sticky notes. notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so here I have some dark purple and some medium purple. Okay. And here I have whites. Remember, you can always cut up to six layers. That's right. Whites and this lavender color. Mm -hmm. And then the medium purple. That was the other thing. You got to decide what is your dark and what is your medium right. and what is your light. Right. And right. I'm gonna just tip that just a okay. little bit. So it's going to fit through any of our go cutters, but we're going to use our go big today. So Erica, if you were using, um, later in the show, we'll show you some projects. Mm -hmm. We're using Whirling Star and like... Um, Morning Star. Yes. You could cut those at the same time. You could. You could put those two, two dies through a go big. One oh. pass through the cutter. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I know. It's there's, awesome. There's a reason right there to upgrade to a go big cutter, right? Yeah. Oh, my. I often cut two dies <laughs> at a time. Don't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. Okay. Because just when you thought getting one cut at a time was fast. Yeah. Oh, boy. When you can cut two at a time, it's even better. Okay, give it some love because static is built up. Yes. Right here. All right, so let's take a look at our pieces then. Okay, so Erica, do you want to build here? We'll move our... Yeah, so let's there. build a block Ooh, here. Sorry, boy, I really did great there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to help you. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way so you know that it's A or B. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So, <laughs> wait, so then we're going to start from... If we start from the outside in, yes. we're going to put our B then is going to be yes. here. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Correct. And we'll need our white. Yes. For the top. For the top. Because you're going to build half blocks, sew them together, and sew the two halves together. Fantastic. That's how you avoid that Y seam. Oh, right. And we, we know we don't like that. And these these, the cool, really cool thing about these dog ears, they're not the standard dog ears because they're actually designed so that. Stop. That's a B. You need an A. Oh, I need an A. This is I went I'm for here. the color. I went for yes. the color. That is a great reminder. Mm -hmm. So up here, then we've got this one. And then we've got yep. the other side. Yeah. So, so that's going to go, gonna go with our dark. Yes. And again, we're starting down here. And those dog ears are gonna, they're gonna lay out just perfectly so that when you're sewing them, you can see just where that quarter inch is gonna be. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have that there. Because remember, we've got seam allowance that goes right, so on. Here's a purple so bee. there's the purple bee that's gonna go over here. And then we need our other little light purple half square triangle on the end. Ta-da. So basically you're building four units mm -hmm. that are going to go together to create our finished block. And here is my other tip. 
So all of these sections together, mm -hmm. and all of these sections yep. together, and then sew the halves. And then sew the halves together. Now, the first question we usually get about block on board dies is if the shapes on the die can be found anywhere else. And while we do have trapezoids and half square triangles, mm -hmm. they are not exactly the same sizes. So, especially those trapezoids, they just, right. we have other trapezoids, but they are not the same size. And right. of course the dog ears are not gonna be the same right. either. But Barbara got pretty creative with how she was using those shapes, didn't she? <laughs> she did. Okay, so let's look at what she did. The first thing that she did was sew two of the strapezoids together to make an elongated shape, like many traditional English paper piecing patterns, just super sized. And I love how she made that Lucy block with mm -hmm. it. That was just really fun. And it was just a really fun look to see that English paper piecing so big. That's right. And that really caught my imagination. Yes. I really have to say yes. to, for her to think about that. And I love that the sunflower block that she made with mm -hmm. it, true, right? I did too. <coughs> All right, now the key with that one was that she used the quarter square triangle shape number four from the 12 inch cube as a setting triangle. So we yes. happen to have one here. We happen to. Imagine that. Imagine that. So the key with using shape Four. Now this is a quarter square triangle and quarter square triangles are going to be designed and on your die board so that again that lengthwise or tight grain is going to be on the outside because there are blades that go right. corner You're to gonna corner. You're going to sew them together on the short sides mm -hmm. to make a half of the block and then the other half. Whereas with half square triangles, you sew them on the long edge. Right, because that long edge is where the bias is. So it's all about how you're going to use your piece is how you want to cut it. Right, so if we were doing this as quarter square triangles, we would come right here, find this lengthwise screen. So look, nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we would just lay it over here and we could cut up to six layers and run it through the cutter and it right. would be great. But with Barbara, she wants to make sure that that lengthwise grain is going to be cut here. Yes, because that's going to be on the outside. So again, we're going to find that. Then we're going to line that up. Right. And we're going to cut this way. Right. So it's really all about how you're going to use that piece, isn't it? Right. Because she's going to sew the long ends together to make it setting triangles. Right. So. Let's go ahead and cut a couple of those. Hey, we can do that. We have a die and everything. Yes. Okay, I uh, get to a 10 by 10 cutting mat. Yes. So the um, four, six, eight, nine inch cubes. Yes. Run through the go, all our cutters, including the go yep. me. The yep. 10 and the 12, you need the go or the go big. Yes. Got it. Okay, give it a little love. Slide, don't lift. So now, of course, we've got that tight grain on the outside. Yeah, look okay. at that. And our bias is on the outside. So now they're like half square triangles. So now what she did was take that and substitute it in to change the whole look of that block. And it was brilliant. And it was brilliant, yes. I just think it's fabulous. So, okay, so quilters, then instead of these two pieces, you would just use shape number four, mm -hmm. and that's what it gives you that scrappy look so you can right. build that old fashioned one. Right, so she used that trapezoid. It's all really about how you do that. She also used that trapezoid and half square triangle, like a quarter square triangle, and used it to make flying geese. Yes. So then in this case, she took shape five, which is the small half square triangle from the 12 inch cube again, and put those on the sides. So here you would need to use your, your shape B because your lengthwise grain is gonna be down here on the outside. Right. And the half square triangle she used was from this box. Yes, mm -hmm. it was. So I think that's brilliant to be flying geese and it yeah. will look different than you normally. That's right, yep. that's right. So really, you can do so many different things with it. You just have to pay attention. The key is to keep track of how your fabric is placed on the die and cutting on the lengthwise grain, depending on how it's going to lay down in your block. 
I think it's brilliant. All right. Hey, and Erica, didn't you just write a blog that talks about the importance of lengthwise? Oh, I believe I did. There's plenty of other tips and tricks there as well as when you're using the AccuQuilt system. So there's more to come also. I know I'm looking forward to those blogs as well, but to find out what else Erica talks about and more, subscribe to our blog. That's right, the AccuQuilt blog is filled with so many tips and tricks. It's got quilting stories and inspiration, including exclusive tutorials and patterns. Discover everything we've mentioned and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Now today's post is of course about our Go Whirling Star Die. So be sure to yes. check it out for even more fresh inspiration. All right, quilters, we have special bundles for you to try today for our launch party. Be sure and place your bundle orders now while supplies last. Now you really want to take advantage of these bundles because they are so versatile. They are. First, we have the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish die with a matte bundle. It's exactly what I used to get started with this so fun die. It was great. And the Go Block on Board Favorites 12 inch die bundle is just what you need to create stunning blocks when using the new die with two other great 12 inch finish bobs and even set those blocks on point with the setting triangle die. I, you know, and blocks on point are just so different. It, it doubles what you can do with any die because yeah. it gives you such a completely different look. Plus, you can celebrate National Sewing Month with 20% off machine embroidery downloads. No code is needed, but some exclusions apply. So check the website for details. Oh, and we forgot to mention this earlier, quilters. We have some new embroidery designs available for some of our applique dies, including the Go Gnome, the Go Zookeeper Gnome. Go Zookeeper Gnome. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Listen. And some others. Make a whole quilt with and that. And some others. And, and there's some new and ones. And pick up. Yes, and for National Sewing Month. Pam's Pickup has bolts Pam's of fabric pickup. in the back. Yep, yep. Our good friends at Bee Stitch, shop. they take such good care of us. All right, check them out while you're taking advantage of our 20% off. And those ties will fit in the Go Me, which is on sale. It's a handy cutter and it's perfect for traveling, isn't it, Miss Pam? It is indeed. I took one with me just last weekend when I went to a quilting retreat. And I bet you had so much fun working on your current projects, but I think it's time that we better check in with Vicki and see what radiant ideas she has for us. All right. Check it out. Hi ladies, I'm glad to be here with you today. This die is gonna make all of your projects shine. It goes to, together so easy, you won't really believe it. If you're a beginner, you can make this block. This die makes it so easy. To begin with, just like always, I made a test block and I went with using five colors. It came out super bright and cheery and, it, uh, and it'll be fun to add to a project. I then started to think about my challenge, which is to go ahead and pair the whirling star with um, some other bobs. And of course, the first thing that I thought of because of all of these trapezoids was another 12 inch block, the hunter star. And as you can see, they will pair really nicely together. You get the repeat of the trapezoids, which looks quite good. And I was playing around with 12 inch blocks and I thought, what other bobs could I add to this? And I thought, well, if I put four together, that's 48 inches. So do I just have to use 12 inch bobs? And I thought, no, you know what? I could pull out some eight inch bobs and I could put six together to make a row to go with my 12 inch squares. So um, what about the maple leaf? If I put six of those across, it would be the same width as four of these 12 inch blocks. I could also use a weather vane. How fun would that be? Or maybe Hattie's Choice. I can make the same size row with different size bobs, which really opens up so much opportunity. I also compare it with a bigger block. This is from our new Mill and Stars. And as you can see, I used it in this quilt behind me as well. So if I wanted to make my quilt 40 inch, 48 inches wide, and I was using this block created with the Mill and Stars, which finishes to 16 inches, what would I do? Well, I would simply place three 16 inch blocks with my four 12 inch blocks, and I would have another 48 inch row. There are so many possibilities. 
I had, I've made this quilt uh, for my daughter, or for my granddaughter. And as you can see, the colors are sherbet color. Delilah, if you're watching from England, please make sure to close your eyes now because I don't want you to see this. Um, this, I used two blocks. Uh, that's about what I had left of remnants. And I went ahead and created um, a burrito pillow. And I'll just simply, when I ship this to her, place my quilt in the pillowcase and it'll be a lot of fun. Now ladies, it's National Sewing Month and I have a few ideas spinning around in my head and I'll be back with you shortly to show you what I've come up with. Oh, quilters. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. So many good ideas she had there. Yes. And I love the thought of taking the extra blocks and making a pillowcase. Because uh, genius, yeah. Just amazing. So a little later, we're gonna ask you to vote on your favorite experts projects. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss their reveals. Okay. Okay, and a huge shout out to Vicky for her mathematical explanation and breaking down the die. But isn't that really just the essence of the whole mix and match system right there? Yes. Yes. So you can take those, you know, you have 48 inches. How do you get there? Well, what all will divide into 48 right. inches? We know it's math, but. Right, right. And that pillowcase was fantastic. Just that perfect finishing touch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a fantastic idea. It's a great way to send it, but it's going to look so good on the bed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just, you know, so, so many times we have make orphan blocks or test blocks, and then what do you do with them? And. This is how you do it. Yeah, yeah, great way to use them. You know, sometimes we make extras. Uh, by mistake, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, we have so many great options for this die to work alongside the 12 inch finish die. But if you only get one die to work with this one, make sure it is the 12 inch setting triangles. Yep. These make setting blocks on point so easy and it really changes how your project looks. That's right, but you don't want to overlook those other 12 inch finished dies that come in today's die bundle. I can see a lot of possibilities for the Arkansas Traveler with your favorite yes, the Morning, Morning Star, Star as well. Now we've got some EQ8 inspiration for you that Katie came up with for today's show. Now these are just for inspiration. Yes. We don't have patterns. No. But look at what she designed. Okay, so this one is my favorite Morning Star one. But look at the center one. It is all the Halloweens. It is all the Halloweens, but look at it with so the right. Arkansas Traveler. Mm -hmm. in and that pink okay. and black. Pink and black for um, October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I oh, feel like I should make that. I feel like you should. Yeah. Those are just all stunning. And I think we've got a couple more. Okay, so look at the one on the far on our left we're, uh, we're yes, looking at the it the morning star the morning star seems to just kind of fade into the background yeah. and pop out the whirling star i just feel like maybe that's the one i should make for breast cancer but then look at it in christmas okay and the christmas one i was thinking we should make it in blue so it looks like snowflakes oh in blues, like the morning star would be in different blue grunge uh -huh, than uh -huh. the morning star. But then look at, here Wellington. we're talking on point. Look at the pink one yes. on point with the Arkansas Traveler. Katie, I love him, good job. Oh, Here's your favorite. This is my favorite. This Morning star. This is the morning star and it's got, it makes it look like a sunflower. I'm really into sunflowers right now. Katie, what a brilliant job. Katie works on our events team and she's brilliant with EQ8. She loves it. Yes. Thank you she for all it. the inspiration. You know, we sell EQ8 on our website. Yes. It's a great software. And it has some tutorials and it just really allows you to come up with some great blocks. Yeah. All right. Now, if you love seeing how you can change the color race. Okay. So EQ8 allows you to create new patterns. patterns. Right. Go Quilt allows you to change the color of patterns that we already have on our website. Exactly. It is a free design tool and it's called Go Quilt and it's amazing. I use it all the time. Now, you can even upload pictures of your very own fabric and yeah. see what your project will look like before you even make your first cut. Pam and I use it all the time. In fact, uh, a couple of weeks ago on our Wednesday show, um, I had some fabric that mm -hmm. I had uploaded and when I looked at the block, it was the it didn't look right. Mm -hmm. And so I changed the fabric. It's just brilliant. Yeah. Numerous fabric collections from our sponsor as well as solid colors are available on Go Quilt. Plus we have thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next project. Here's a deeper look to help you get started.
should know we always dance during We that. do. We dance to the music. <laughs> All right. I love how much freedom you have to design with Gold Quilt, but I also love how we make it easier for two lucky registered viewers in our fabric giveaways. Oh, me too, Pam. Quilters, our good friends at Island Boutiques are helping us make this a star-filled launch party with two stunning selections of fabric for us to give away. Okay. I want to think, Erica, they might be in a project that well, is coming up. Well, as a matter of fact, they are. Look at this. And I love batiks. I do, I too. Just, and I this is nice beautiful. big pieces of it. These mm -hmm. are just yummy. So, but we're going to have to give them away. I know. They tell us that every week. Every week they tell us. They remind us. Yes. So, the first winner of an Island Batik selection of fabric is, drum roll please. It's Christina T. from San Jose, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, and the second winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Susan C. of King City, Oregon. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, okay. and I love this. Thank you to Island Batiks for sponsoring today's show. We know the winners are going to come up with dazzling projects using that gorgeous fabric. In my head, I've already thought of something I could use with it. <laughs> all right, I don't know about you, <laughs> you, Erica, but today's show has me feeling all the inspiration. I agree. In fact, I think it's time we look at our experts' final projects to see how inspired they felt with this new dye to try. I can't wait. All right, let's do it. Let's start with our first expert. Barbara, what do you have for us? Well, here's my challenge piece. I took another traditional paper piecing block and I used my Whirling Star 12 inch block on board along with the, uh, shape number four from my 12 inch cube to make the super card trick or what I'm calling a whirling card trick. Right here is my shape B's, right here, there's the C's. And then here's the quarter square triangles and then the quarter square triangles cut as um, half square triangles. Right, so here's the breakdown of the block, four of those together. And this is the one I made. It makes a 12 inch block. So I just incorporated some two and a half inch sashing, dropped in some little four inch cube square on points. You could go with a variety of uh, borders or sashing to go with it. Also added a flange binding. So I hope you like the whirling card trick. Okay, I love the whirling guard trick. I love it because she used elements from the whirling star and from the cube yeah. and made a completely different looking block. And how clever is it to use that square on point for a cornerstone in your sashing yeah. instead of a plain square? Oh my gosh, it changes the whole look. All right. All right. Last but not least, we have Miss Vicki. What have you made using the Go Whirling Star die? Hi, and welcome back. I had so much fun playing with our new die, the Go Whirling Star. As you can see behind me, this is a wall hanging that I came up with, and I call it Go Whirling Spools. Yes, I decided to use the spool die since it's National Sewing Month and try and create some sewing theme fun. Um, what I did with the Whirling Star is I went ahead and emphasized one color, which really makes a fun, almost flower looking star. And then I used the Go Spool. I went ahead and alternated the direction of it, which created a pinwheel in the center of it. And then also here, as you can see, I set them with our setting triangles and corners, and I made a much larger block. So this block finishes to 17 and a half inches. I added some borders around it, picking up that striped fabric so that it would um, then fit in with the 24 inches created by our whirling stars. As you can see in the center, I even had fun playing with our pin cushion die and added those appliques of the sewing machine and the spools. I love this quilt. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, it's called Gore Woodling Spools. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. And Pam, I went ahead and used striped binding just for you. Have a great day, ladies. Okay. Okay. Striped binding. She's the automatic winner. I'd say she was pandering to the judges, but we're not the judges. You are. Okay, so not only is stripe binding, which I think is so cool, but those solid whirling mm -hmm. stars. Mm -hmm. So in my quilting head, I could see those for winter and look like snowflakes, or I could totally see them for Halloween just because you can. But 
it's National Sewing Month, and she used the spool die and got the spools in there. Sewing machine. And a little sewing machine from the pincushion die that I love. All right, well, Eric and I don't get a vote, so Quilter's voting is now open. That's so right. let us know which expert project was your favorite. If you're watching by the registration link or in YouTube, you can click the vote box below to, or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. Right there. All right, while our quilters are voting for their favorite expert projects, let's get into today's Die to Try trunk show. So we showed one last week. We yes, gave you a sneak peek. Yes, but we've got more. Yep. All right, Miss Lynn, can you help us showcase these great patterns? Wait till you see this one. Oh, look at this. Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilt. This is Go Firestorm Throw Quilt. Oh, it's okay. a stunner. Okay, so first of all, Amanda, kudos, because this is amazing. This is the block turned on point, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And then look here, this is the 12 inch cube, half square triangles, quarter square triangles mm -hmm. to complete that pinwheel block as well, but in those muted tones. Right. Yeah, so the pinwheels really offset each other nicely. Okay, and can I talk for, of course I can. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I raised my hand. Okay, um, this happened two weeks ago when I was doing my morning star quilt. There, these are side setting triangles. Yes. Right. There is not one corner setting right, triangle. Right, because it wouldn't be that big. So right. there's the two of them, but yet this way still keeps your lengthwise grain. Remember lengthwise grain, it's, we're all about it today. Right. On the outside. Right, so keep in mind quilters, you wanna read through the whole pattern because in your quilting head, you're gonna think, oh, I'm gonna need four corners and we're gonna need a bunch of sides. Right. Only sides. Only sides. Only sides. And the quilting's fabulous. And it makes for a quicker and easier quilt this way it too. It does. Yeah. Because you have less blocks to make. It That's does. True. You want to show us the back line? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a real sweet fabric on the back here. It looks like motherboards. Yes, it does. Very cool. But the quilting on this was just so cool. I would count this as stripe fabric if I were binding with oh, it. Oh, well, there you go. The right. next one coming up, this is Go Stars A Plenty Wall Hanging. It's by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. Recognize the Island Batik fabric? This yes. is what our bundles were. Here it is. And so here's the Whirling Star Black. Here is Blazing Star by our good friend Eleanor Burns. And again, 12 inch blocks and look how great they come together. You know, those points come together. And Lynn, you were talking about the quilting on this one. Right, so this is interesting, if you can see it, that you've got that tight stipple in mm -hmm. the background fabric, and then you have the lines where you're really bringing the two different blocks together right. with that easier uh, um, quilting there with the straight lines. Right, and S these blocks, the yeah, these are just stitched yeah. in the ditch. Yeah, it's stitched fabulous. Stitched in the ditch. And stitched indeed. Well, what we really try to do here is show you different options. So this one is obviously combined with this amazing Blazing Star Bob die. And then the next one we're gonna show you shows you a little bit different um, idea. And then the last one was with the cube, which yeah. is great. So you have lots yeah. of options always. All right. Now the next one, here we go. This is by Gina, Gina. Jempasa. This is Go Tilt a Whirl Wall Hanging by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts with Hoffman Fabrics. This is clever. So this is okay, the same Gina, block. Gina, Gina, Gina. This is the same block, but look what she's done. She's taken those four units that go together to make the block and she's broken them up. With sashing. With sashing and cornerstones. Yeah. So clever and this it gives it brilliant. a totally different look. I love this because sometimes in your quilting head, it just it just looks so completely different, right? Mm -hmm. Like we've just fractured it. Mm -hmm. And Gina did a great job. Gina and I could totally hang together. I feel like Gina and I love the same kind of fabric. I love the color combination. You know, I don't know that I would have thought about putting that kind of limey green with the, the mm -hmm. teal and the purple. Teal yeah. and the purple, but man, does it work. And that watercolor look, I love it for batiks. Yeah, and you still get the pinwheel effect, which right. is really cool too. Right. And the quilting's right. kind of fun because it's such straight edges, but it's rounded. 
Yeah, so we're gonna like just set this one right over here. Lynn's been back Lynn's one time in like one four time. months. Yeah. And look at that. that. There go the quilts. Easy okay. to reach. All right, so our last uh, trunk show piece is this on the back wall, which is just gorgeous. And this is the one that we did the video about. It's called Go Whirl and Twirl by our good friend Susie Webster of Webster Quilt. And this one is great. Erica loves it because it's purple, which is oh, yes. thing. it's hanging in on the wall. Right. They um, did that on purpose. Okay. You know. So, Lynn, do you want to talk about the block is set on point? Talk about the corners. Right. So here's that block set on point, as Cam right. said. And then this is just fun with the way that she has created the, um, the uh, setting triangles out of the inside pieces. Right, so here's the two sections we sew together. So instead of sewing them together, what she's done is, hold on here, I'll find you one. Right here. This is one section, and then she sewed the other section together right. on this side. Yes. Yeah. Which so. I think is brilliant. So she's taken the two halves of each quarter unit. Right. And sewed them together differently to make those setting triangles right. basically. Yeah, way to go Susie. And then this has really fun quilting as well. There's lots of thought put into this. There's, you have that tight stippling on the, the, the white background pieces. Mm -hmm. You have some fun, what we're thinking are bats here. I think it's bats because <laughs> really it's fast. almost Halloween. Yes. And then there's even a little uh, wavy stip, wavy line on the black border and then a curvy, um, like a swirl. Swirl on the outside border. So it really Beautiful. creates all this great movement and color in that as well. So um, since I can't take this one, it's on the wall. Yeah. I can live with this beautiful piece of work in my <laughs> so new. So apparently that's the one Lynn's <laughs> taking home today yes. to add to her pile of quilts. Now remember quilters, all these four patterns are available as free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Yes. So that way you can get your pattern all downloaded before your dies arrive so you'll be ready to go. So all right. I think we already know the answer yeah, to I'm what take she's this taking. One. So before I leave, I just want to wish you have a great rest of the show. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. She hasn't been here months. There she's she already goes. walking out with there one of my she favorites. Goes. Mm -hmm. All right, quilters, at the start of this year, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Motive Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from each of our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. Now, last week's donation was made by Moda team member Susan Vaughn of the Felted Pear. Susan used Moda's Folktale collection by Vanessa Gortz of Leela Boutique, and she used go dyes to create her pattern. This pattern is called Violet Quilt and was designed by Erica Jackman, even spelled the right way. Way to go, Erica. Of Kitchen Table Quilting. Susan donated her quilt to the Moore's Cancer Center at the University of California in San Diego in partnership with San Diego Modern Quilt Guild. The Moore's Cancer Center is USC or UCSD is one of the leading institutions in the nation that is dedicated to scientific innovation in cancer research, clinical care, education, and community contributions. Their mission is to save lives by transforming cancer prevention, detection, and care to make personalized cancer medicine a reality for anyone who needs treatments. Now Susan hopes that this quilt brings some comfort and a hint of coziness during a difficult time. What a thoughtful sentiment and donation, and what a beautiful quilt. Beautiful quilt. Moda, not just for grunge. They actually make other beautiful fabrics. Yes, and I love Lego Boutique's lines. Yes. She has great she corals. She does so fun. She um, does fun. But that was a really and fun design. Simple, but beautiful. Erica Jackman. There we pattern. go. Be sure to visit yeah, our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. That's right. Now we are drawing prize winners every month this year. Anyone who makes a quilt and donates it to a charity of their choice and shares their quilt publicly on Instagram or Facebook using hashtag quilt the world 2022 is eligible for these prize drawings. Someone from Omaha won last month. Yes. AC won. There you go. All right. The monthly prizes are valued at $200. Listen to this. $100 in Motive Fabrics, $100 in AccuQuilt reward points. Uh, you cannot what do better. 
great opportunity. In fact, it is time for us to announce that winner for August. Let's do the lucky winner of August Quilt the World monthly prize is drum roll please. <laughs> Melissa M, congratulations. congratulations. Our team is gonna reach out to you, it's gonna be great. Eric and I, we are donating the last The last uh, week. one of the year. Uh, yep, that's Eric and I. Yep. Quilters, if you're looking for more fun and inspiration, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be using the Go Whirling Star Die to make one of the projects you saw in today's trunk show. Though, I think I might go home and make a Halloween one. Oh. Uh, be sure to register for tomorrow's show for the chance to win a door prize. We have tons of fun. Hope to see you there. Listen, it's September. I can talk about Halloween. Well, there you go. I had to wait. All right, quilters. Voting is now closed, and we are about to announce today's expert winner in just a minute. But first, we're going to give away our final prize of the day. All right, let's do the second lucky winner of a Go Whirling Star Die is drum roll, please. Missy M of Stony Point, New York. Congratulations. Congratulations. Missy, you're gonna love it. And I can't wait to see what our lucky winners create. That's right, me too. And we can see what they make when they share it with us on social media and tag us. That's right. We love to share your stories, quilts and more. And we love to share our behind the scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. Oh, you definitely do not wanna miss out on those. So be sure you follow us. All right, quilters. The team has counted all of your votes. It's time to announce today's expert winner. Yes. Hard decision. Hard. Will it be Barbara with her Go Whirling card trick throw quilt? Which I loved. Or will it be Vicki with her Go Whirling Spools wall hanging? Perfect for National Sewing Month. Perfect for it. You voted and decided our winner is, big drum roll please. Barbara. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> That's so fun. Two truly outstanding projects. To oh, choose from. so many good things that I loved about it. Yeah. I loved Vicki's use of for National Sewing Month mm -hmm. and our spool dye, and those solid whirling stars. Mm -hmm. They look completely different. All right, quilters, be sure to join us next week on Tuesday, September 13th, for a new event called Keep Calm and Block On. We're going to be joined by expert Marianne Fontana, who will be sharing tons of inspiration. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got some things up our sleeves. You don't want to miss out. And don't forget, we have special bundles for you to get your hands on the new Die to Try series, the Go Whirling Star. Plus, we've got 20% off machine embroidery downloads in honor of National Sewing Month, so check them out. There's adorable new designs in there, like one for the Go Bird and Birdhouse Die, yes. so be sure to check those out, too. And the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set is marked down for a ton of savings so that you can easily quilt on the go. To get your order in, open a new tab, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. The first bundle we have for you is the Go Whirling Star 12-inch finish die with a 6x24 cutting mat. This bundle is perfect for adding the new bob die to your collection, and it is compatible with all of our Go Cutters, including the Go Me. That's right, you never have to replace blades in a die, but you do have to replace cutting mats after long-term use. So it's always a good idea to have an extra mat on hand. That is so true. And the second bundle we have for you is the Go Block and Board Favorites 12-inch die bundle. You receive three 12-inch finished bob dies, including our newest die to try, um, the 12-inch setting triangles and two cutting mats. Morning Star is one of my favorites, as you saw in the trunk Ooh. show. And the Whirling Star die, uh, die pairs so nicely with the Arkansas Traveler as well. Really does. Okay, now remember, we've got financing options. For more details, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, guess what, quilters? It is time for Eric and I to start getting ready for the Des Moines Quilt Show. Right. We're going to be checking out the great exhibits there, interviewing some amazing people. Um, I'm teaching a class at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to have a meet and greet um, at our booth and we hope that you're as excited about the new Go Whirling Star Die as we are. That's right. Now, quilters, if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here is that link. We want to make sure you get your items be while they're still available and ready to ship out. All right, quilters, remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. See you next week. Bye-bye.